Hi guys, welcome again in Icon Touch. So we have already done so many techniques with multiplication and I hope you are practicing all of these things. Now today what we are going to do is like we are using multiplication for a bigger number, especially for a number which is close to 1000 and other, other type of numbers. So let's begin. The first thing we will going to start is basically uh, this kind of numbers, a number which is close to 1000. Do so you understand these numbers are basically close to 1000? And when it is close to 1000, the first few things you need to understand like it is exactly same as 100 just there is one extra step we are going to use here right so in 100 what we have done it is how much extra it is it is exactly the extra amount is plus 6 so it is plus 6 it is plus 8 that is fine so what is 6 into 8 48 in 100 base numbers like in the number which is close to 100 we just find with 48 but in this case it is 1000 base number so this thing is basically responsible for last three digits. So as because we have already got 48, so zero is basically here, so it is 0, 4, 8. Now the next thing you have to do, why we are using zero? Because this is responsible for last three digits, this thing. Now add the same thing ways, like 6 plus 8 or 8 plus 6. So it is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 4. So hence your answer is 1014048. So either you add 1006 plus 8 or you add 1008 plus 6. So both will fetch you the same kind of answers. I hope I am making these things clear to you. So I'll give you another example also. Let's take about this number. Let's say 1012 into 1009. Now in this case, if you understand, this is plus 12, this is plus 9. What is 12 into 9? That is 108. So now we are not going to do anything else because 12, 9 is 108 and it is already three digit. So I don't need to use again a zero here. So next step is 112 plus 9. How much it is? 1021. Or you can do 109 plus 12 as well, anything. So your answer is 1021, 108. So this is how we do the calculation, which are the close to 1000 numbers and they are more than 1000, right? So the next thing we are going to discuss the number which is less than it like this kind of numbers 992 into 994 so if you see this this is minus 8 yes and this is minus 6 now what is 8 into 6 so i know minus into minus is basically positive so 8 into 6 is 48 now if it is 48 so 8 6 are 48 so next step has to be you have to add 0 here so 0 4 8 so that is the thing basically 0 4 8 so next is 992 minus 6. Just do the same thing. Just what we have done. 992 minus 6 or 994 minus 8. So your answer is 986. So hence your answer is 986048. Exactly. Again, I'm giving you another example, let's say. So take this kind of number 989 into, let's say, 988. Now in this case, you can understand this is minus 11. This is minus 12. So what is 12 into 11? 132. If I have already three digits, so I don't need to use another zero. The next step is 989 minus 12. And how much it is? 977. So your answer is 977, 3132. So that is the multiplication where the numbers are close to 1000, but both numbers are less than 1000. Now the third has to be like this what? One number is more than 1000, one number is less than 1000. So let's see how we can solve this type of question. Now this thing about this 1004 into 992. Now this thing is basically plus 4 and this is minus 8. So 4 into minus 8 basically giving you minus 32. But think about it, you cannot have a negative number inside a number, right? There is no possibility a number like 1, 2, 3, minus 4, 5. It has to be, the minus has to be before or if you, there is a minus, you need to make it a positive thing. So how we can make a positive thing? Because I have already told you it is responsible for last three digits. So in case of 100, what we have done? We subtract it from 100. In case of 1000, we subtract it from 1000. So what is it will get 1000 minus 32 is 968. Now if I have 968 here, so I'm writing down 968 here. Now what is the next step? Add this two thing 992 plus 4. What is it? 996. So your answer is 996, 968. So this is how we can solve these type of questions. I hope you're getting it right. So this is very easy and very fast and you can do it very fast exactly. So I'm giving you another uh, question. Let's say this is 994 into let's say 1003 so in this case what will happen this is minus 6 this is plus 3 so this is basically giving you what minus 18 so i cannot have minus 18 so i am subtracting from 1000 so if it is from 1000 minus 18 so it is nothing but 982 how much it is 982 
So 982 and 994 plus 3 is 997. So your answer is 997, 982. So hence, this is how we can solve these type of questions. I hope you are getting it. Like, so this is the way, the, like, the techniques that we are using to solve these type of questions. So the next video, we are going to learn even more about multiplication.